Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you about concave and convex curves. This is one of the most hardest uh, structure to identify. So how to know it? Let me tell you about the curves. This is a concave curve that you know, and this one is a convex curve. But how to know it from a equation? That's very tough. So I'm going to give you one equation on this, and then we can proceed. For example. This two is actually called the curvature. So curvature means it depends on the second order derivative. Say the second order derivative. So let's do a second order derivative check on a particular equation, and let me tell you whether it is first order or second order. So for example, y equal to x to the power four plus nine x square plus seven at x equal to one. What will happen to this curve, whether it is concave or convex, at this? Okay, at x equal to one, comma y equal to one. So first is dy dx. What is dy dx? It is 4x cubed plus 18x. What is d2y dx? 2 12x square plus 18. So now you can see that this is positive. This is positive, and x square is always positive. So this kind of curve will obviously give you second order derivative greater than zero, which makes it a convex curve. So whenever the second order derivative is zero, you're sure about it. You can write it convex. And if the second order derivative, like d two y dx two, if it is comes negative, this has to be a concave curve. So this is a very basic pattern of finding out the concavity and convexity. Just put in a second order derivative and check. And what happens if they don't give you these points? Then also you can find it out. Okay. For example, y equal to x square plus 7x. So dy dx is what? 2x plus 7. D2y dx is simply 2. This always is greater than zero, so it's a curve. Convex curve. So second order greater than zero. Convex. Second order less than zero. Concave. And the line is like this. Thank you.